Ta gebiten jupuni karaya jendi kadichana. The traditional forms of education and compare them to today's modern education system that the traditional forms of knowledge fostered sustainability and with the modern educational system the children learn nothing about that but instead they learn how to use essentially corporate products in an urban consumer culture. So once they've been educated in modern schools, they literally don't know how to survive in their own environment. <laughs> Tabji is a small village under Chukachongkak. In this remote village, the houses are scattered. Students hardly go to school since they have to work five hours daily to reach school and back home. Today, Netra Badru Ali is alone at home. His father and younger brother has gone to herd the cattle. And his disabled mother too has gone to collect firewoods from the jungle. One of our friend has gone to this village to see how students like Netra are struggling 
for in education. Just now I'm here at Nitor's house, which is more than two and a half hours walk from the Dalamiri Secondary School. Nitor is a student of Dalamiri Secondary School, starting in fifth standards, and he is only 12 years old. I wonder how he can walk such a far distance uh, every day through the very steep and thick forest. It's also something that we should wonder how the ch uh, child like him struggles for education. I walk at 4 o'clock and I'm ready to go to school at 5 o'clock and at 5, 5.30 I went to school and I reach in school at 8 o'clock and, and I come back at home at 5.30 or 6 o'clock and I help my mother to cut firewood, give food for pigs and, and at 7 I study and I teach my brother to write homework and study. At 8 o'clock I sleep. At Sunday holidays I help my mother and father to look after a cow and that time I read one book or write homework. And sometimes my father and mother gives me time to read and play. I play football with my friends and come back home. And I want to become a teacher in my future and look after my family and keeping my family happily. We are fortunate to have better and free education. Starting from primary to university level. From that, we are expected to learn well. Rather than wasting our time and money in so many activities which are not very useful. Some give it to, some give it to, some give it to, to our girls. Five million and forty naughty shorty. Baby girl, I'm a girl, I'm a girl. Shanda Paul say, Well, I'm on the way the time. Cold, I wanna be keeping you warm. I got the right temperature for shelter you from the storm. Hold on, girl, I got the right tactics to turn you on. And girl, I but there are students who are interested to help the needy ones. Social Service Club have been looking after the destitute students in Darla Middle Secondary School. Currently, there are about six of them who are being looked by this club in education purpose. Here, these things are all collected by a Social Service Club member and it's uh, all collected from the Kido College students and staffs. And we are collecting it and keeping in this room and we let it wash once to our club members and we are distribu distributing them to the native people. This is Upper Sorini where Asis and Dalbadur stays. They are looked after by SSC. On being asked about their child's studies,
Well, that was how students are engaged in helping others who are more in need. In addition to that, some students are responsible citizens who are willing to abide by the rules and grooming for their future. Yeah, man. 